Now that we're able to focus a little bit on the emphasis of our notes and we're not playing everything at the same volume, we can start to move around and create some melodies and create some interest in this chord progression. So the first thing I'm going to do is emphasize the ah of each beat. If you remember what that sounds like, it should be this way. So I'm only emphasizing the last note in the pattern. Same with any of the other chords. And what I'm going to start to do is just move that note around. I'm just going to play up and down in some scales. I'm not going to get too bold with this. I'm just going to move around in some scales. So the first time through, I was taking note of a few things that I didn't like, and I'm going to change those now. Let's skip up to that note. There we go. Didn't like this four chord. Try this this time. Yeah, I like that better. So all I was doing was just and figuring out what I didn't like about it, you know? So when I was playing the C chord, I noticed that I didn't like, I didn't like the way that sounded, so just try moving it up a little bit. And I skipped over the G and went up to the A. So this is experimental. Just do that, play around. Even if you want to move a little bit further up and down, you can. So the next thing would be rather than moving up and down in scales, we can move up and down in arpeggios. So we've got the same emphasis happening. Nothing else has changed. I'm just going to be playing arpeggios instead of just playing straight up and down. And this helps you get used to where your chord notes are outside of your box, you know? I'm playing a G chord starting on a D, a C chord starting on an E, oops, and a D chord starting on a D. And sometimes we forget that our chords can extend all the way up the bridge like that, so that's where this is very nice. And again, anything that we've done with our right hand, we can start doing that with our left hand. So let's do that. Let's emphasize the downbeat and start moving up and down in scales, just like we did before. change this a little bit because I didn't like the way it sounded. I'm going to come all the way down to the G. Back down to G. I like this way it was. So you see where I'm doing the exact same thing. I started out just playing some notes. 
listening to whether or not I like the way that sounds. If I'm not a fan of the way that it sounds, I'll change it the next time through. And I can also move in arpeggios. Now if you have an instrument that starts here at your G, then that's obviously as far down as you can go. But if you have an instrument that comes all the way down to a low D over here, then you can come even further. All the way down to that D, C. G's in the C chord. And look at that E all the way down there is too. This is really good for just loosening up your shoulder and reaching for those low notes. Oops. A lot of times we forget that our chords go beyond the root of the chord on the bass bridge. If we're playing a C chord, we can go all the way down to this G and we can even come down to this E down here. Those are all still notes in that chord. So don't be afraid to move up and down and this is a great way to practice reaching for those low notes while you're still playing some melody up here in the top of your instrument. 